Hello friends, so in this tutorial we will be solving continuous list tank reactor model in MATLAB. So uh, it is uh, generally known as a mixed flow reactor or continuous flow stirred tank reactor and it is commonly used in a chemical reactor as well. So uh, they are generally used or uh, also generally used in industrial processing primarily in homogeneous liquid phase flow reactions where constant agitation is required. So here you can see the uh, equation for this model. So this first equation we will be solving it in Simulink and check the nature of the graph. So in this equation there are three constants F, V and C field. F is the flow rate, V is the volume and C field is the concentration in the uh, uh, concentrations in the feed which is uh, uh, the units are kg mole per meter cube so these are the so for volumetric flow rate it is meter cube per h and for volume it is meter cube so this equation we will be solving it in simulating and check the nature of graph and we also have the values of the constants of the same of the model for example for f we have 200 meter cube per hour and c feed it is 10 kilo mole per meter cube and for volume it is 380 meter cube so these three constants will be putting the values in a simulate and check the nature of the graph so let's start with the matlab workbench so this is the matlab workbench and Let's open the simulate tab and start by blank model. So here you can see the library functions tab and let's click it and so this one opens. So for this particular model to create I need certain set of blocks to complete the logic diagram. So I'll just drag and place those first we need three constants so I'll just pick and drag it into this window and we can pick another one and keep it like this way from here also as well as we can just click this one press control key and drag it from here as well so we have got our three constants P, V and C field and let's just put the values of the same so first one is a p it is so sorry the first one is f flow rate that is 200 meter cube per hour so there it is by double clicking you can see open this tab and you can put values into this so this is 200 that's okay and the next constant we have is volume and volume is 380 meter cube so this is 380 meter cube and press ok and the final constant we have is C field it is 10 kilo mole per meter cube and this one is 10 kilo mole per meter cube so we have put the values of the constants in this and now let's go back to this equation the first equation which we are trying to solve so here we can see f is divided by v so we need a divide block so for that we can go to math operations and search for divide yeah, here it is you can just drag this one keep it near to this so this is f this is f and v this is f and v so connect it to the divide function so this divide function is done and this will keep it here for time being drag this one below I require a 
an integrator function as well. So you can find it in commonly used blocks. Let's go to integrator and click it here. And we need a scope as well to display uh, the result. So keep it here and connect it from this one to here. Okay. So this is done now. Now I need a sum function block. So here is some function block. Okay, so while double clicking this you can find data where we can change the signs as well. So I need the second one negative because here it is C feed minus C A. There is a reason why I need negative and this I need actually I need to rotate this one upward so you can press ctrl and press r so we got rotated and now let's connect c v to the positive sign and this let's bring it down and this negative sign i'll connect it over to here so this is done now I need another sum function so I'll just press ctrl and drag it from here itself and rotate it by clicking ctrl by pressing ctrl and R with this swing and and I'll connect I require another product function because of this R. R is nothing but 3CA. So I'll create another constant function first. We'll drag it from here and double click it and put the value as 3. So this is done and I'll drag this one here. This one is three. So we have put the value of three in the in this constant, and I'll import a product function. Multiply it and keep it here. So first, this one gets connected to bottom side, and the product of these constant and connect it over to so this is done now I'll connect this one to this sum function positive C and I need another product function below here and keep it and connect it to the negative sign because it is minus r and connect it to here this is 3 into ca it is negative so i'll connect this one to here and the other connect terminal to here so like this this is what it looks like the equation so this I'll minimize it and maximize this one and press space key to clearly view the circuit diagram so I'll just check if everything is connected and we have left this one and so I'll just connect it from this so this completes the circuit diagram of the CSTR model and we can just cross check if we have put the values of all constants so here you can see it displays the value inside the block this is P volume flow rate volume and this one is the C feed and this is 3 into CR so this equation the first equation it is what we are trying to solve in the in this model so 
everything is connected and yeah everything is correct so let's just run this one by clicking here so it is ready and let's see the graph right above clicking on scope so this is how it appears the graph of a CSTR model in MATLAB so this was about the continuous steroid tank creator model creation in simulink thank you